Hi everyone, this is Card Says. Let's now begin the November monthly and weekly tarot reading for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Cross watchers are also welcome here. Consider tapping like and subscribe if you, the, any of the messages here resonated with you as this helps the video reach more people who may also need to hear this message. We have a playlist of the other zodiac signs that might interest you located at the description box and the pinned comment section. Now let's begin. Aries, let's tune into the energy of Aries. You have the Eight of Swords reversed, the High Priestess, Three of Swords, Ten of Cups reversed, Judgment. Knight of Wands reversed. And the Lovers. Now let's see what the cards have to say for your career and finance. Now what you need to know about your career and finance is the Eight of Swords reversed. This is telling us that you are freeing yourself from limiting beliefs that are hindering you for advancing your career so expect ideas for career advancement expect ideas for the advancement and the um, flourishing of your finances for some of you, Spirit is saying you are letting abundance in because as you can see with the Eight of Swords upright, she is like imprisoned and now you are free. Your mind is free and clear to think of ways on how to move on with your career and finance. Now for your romance. You have the High Priestess. So for some of you, this means that you are following your intuition when it comes to romance. For singles, it's like you know what you want now in a relationship and you don't let, don't just let anyone in. Your, your um, boundaries you know, it's like establishing boundaries before letting people in. For some of you, Spirit is saying gatekeep. So there's a gatekeeping going on. It could be like, you know, a dating spot that you, you are gatekeeping when it comes to romance. And for some of you, this is a good time. For getting to know your partner getting to know your spouse your special someone your special person in a much deeper way now for your challenge there could be issues of heartache that you will have to deal with and spirit is saying that this situation has already ended it's just that there is this lingering pain and spirit is saying this is a resurfacing topic you know this is a resurfacing issue it's like this challenge you have dealt with this before and it's just so happened that you'll have to deal with it again this time around. Now let's see what happens for you on the first week. On the first week of November, 
you have the ten of cups in reverse and this is saying that there could be issues with regards to family matters and for some of you this no this november this is actually connected so there could be issues with the family that you will have to deal with and it and it's going to cause you some disappointment and pain however with the ten of cups reverse this is telling me that there is hope to actually patching this up it's just that it's really difficult to see or like move past the pain of the three of swords because the issues are spirit is saying well established so the issues are the issues you you and your family have faced before you and your family have dealt with before but it's like it hasn't really ended but with the ten of cups for some of you there could be an ending to this issue although it is not as promising the end is not as promising for the second week of november you have judgment and for some of you there is a call that you need to heed for some of you there is a news coming forward that would greatly benefit you this is something that you worked on before and you're hearing news about the success of it this second week of november and it spirit is saying it is important that you heed this call it is important that you listen to this so do watch out for email notifications text messages letters documents that could imply this uh, good news for you you have good news coming in in the second week so it's like on the first week what you need to know is that you have like heavy issues resurfacing but on the second week things are going well for you generally now on the third week you have the knight of wands in reverse and for me this is saying that some of you may have a clandestine romance a clandestine affair okay with the knight of wands reversed and the high priestess but for some of you this is a fair warning of spirit is saying do not expend too much energy it's like you're expending energy but it's going in the wrong direction so allow yourself to have better directions when it comes to taking action and decision making you would want to pick up on the smaller details that could make a whole lot of difference for you this month of November and lastly for your week 4 you have the lovers so for some of you there could be a patching up or forgiveness that's going to happen in the last week of September whatever the three of wands the heartache of the three of wands represent to you there is a chance to for it to be amended people forgiving themselves people forgiving others as well in the fourth week for some of you in your romance this could be a deepening 
a connection, a deepening of partnership when it comes to romance. And for some of you, if you are like single in the beginning of the month, you may have, this is for someone specific in this um, collective, you might have a soulmate connection at the end of the month. That is on the fourth week. And for some of you, your finances is going well also. And Spirit is also telling me to bring up the judgment. So on the second week, there could be news for you when it comes to finances. For someone in this reading, the freedom, the financial freedom for you is experienced in the fourth week as well and just as for some of you it is on the second week and lastly we have a yes or no reading via the astro dice you can now think of your question answerable by yes or no and we clarify it using the tarot you may pause the video if you need more time and I'll be back with your answer. You have Mercury, so whatever your question is, the answer is maybe. Now let's clarify your maybe with the tarot. Let's tune into the energy of Aries. Why? Okay, now it's clear. You're getting a maybe because you will have to balance something within yourself. For some of you, Spirit is saying there is a need to allow yourself to be more patient, Aries. That's why you're getting a maybe for now. And that's the messages that has been channeled for you, Aries. I do hope this reading provided you with some clarity as you go along with healing and your soul's journey. Consider tapping like and subscribe to help the channel. Feel free to click the description box for more info. Keep safe. See you in our next video. Thank you for watching. This is Card Says.